Hello, my name is Anna Shebove, and I'm a Senior Program Manager with Azure Stream Analytics. In this video, I'd like to show you some of ASA's built-in capabilities, which help you optimize and enhance the performance of your Stream Analytics job. In case you're not familiar with Azure Stream Analytics, or ASA for short, we are a fully managed stream processing engine. Stream processing is the transformation of data while it is still on the wire. If you're not familiar with this concept, please visit the Azure Stream Analytics page to learn more. Let's dive in. Here I have a running Stream Analytics job. On the overview page, under monitoring, I see key metrics associated with my job. I see my resource utilization, which is my memory consumption, the event counts associated with my job, the watermark delay, which represents latency, backlog input events, and any errors associated with my job. These metrics reveal great insights into my job's overall health. However, to understand whether my job is running optimally, I need to identify whether my job is running in parallelization. If you are not familiar with the concept of parallelization, you may think of it in terms of partitions. For a job to be parallel, partition keys need to be aligned between all inputs, all query logic steps, and all outputs. A stream analytics job can consume and write different partitions in parallel, which increases throughput, thus enhancing the job's performance. If a job isn't in parallel mode, there are likely bottlenecks to its performance. This is why this identification is important. To identify whether my job is parallel, I scroll to physical job diagram. And here I can see a visual graph which illustrates my job's parallelism. I can see number of streaming nodes associated with my job. And I can see the partition IDs within each of those streaming nodes. The interaction between the nodes here informs me that this job is not parallel. Under, I can see key metrics associated with each streaming node's performance. Now that I know my job is not parallel, I have a couple of options to address this. I can either rewrite my query, or I can make use of the job simulation tool to improve my query performance. The job simulation tool has built-in edit suggestions, which assists me in making my job be executed in parallel. As we see here, it says this job is not parallel and under show details, I see the query step, which is not partitioned. To learn more about how to use the job diagram simulator, please visit our documentations page. Another capability I can make use of is auto scale. In the menu bar, I click Scale, and here I have the option between Manual and Custom Auto Scale. Auto Scale will scale my job up or down based on rules I have specified. I can either scale to a specific streaming unit, or I can scale based on a metric or a trigger. I can do this dynamically while my job is running. Let's suppose that my business logic is such that I cannot tolerate latency greater than 20 seconds. In the custom auto scale, I select the metric name watermark delay. Here, I see the average watermark delay of my job, which is a little over 13 seconds. So I can choose greater than or equal to 20 seconds is where I would want my job to scale for a duration of 10 minutes. and I simply click Add. Since we have a scale out rule, we should also add a scale in rule, for which we follow the same steps. Add a rule, we go down, click watermark delay, and set that to five seconds, in which case my job will scale in if there's a delay of less than five seconds. You can also add additional scale conditions outside of the default condition. For example, say my business logic is such that I need the job to scale out on specific days. I simply click that configuration, select Monday, and specify the hours which I want my job to scale out during. The key takeaway here is that custom auto scale is highly customizable and flexible to meet most business logics and rules. Last but not least, 
a brief reference to additional tools available to you under monitoring, including metrics, alert rules, and diagnostics. These built-in tools enable rich insights that further help users understand their job's performance, so they can easily identify bottlenecks and troubleshoot issues. For more content on ASA features and capabilities, please visit Azure Stream Analytics documentation overview page to learn about concepts and try tutorials. If you have any questions or feedback, please reach out to us. Thank you for watching this video.